Hello everybody, I'm Ali Muhammad and let's start. My ID is ICE4014. I participated in I Cool Challenge Egypt 2021, specifically in Co-Space Rescue U19. About my team, my name is Ali Muhammad and I am 13 years old. I was born in Egypt, specifically in Horgada. I participated in XLL two times and in Robocop one time, but I couldn't complete due to COVID-19, but I had a lot of experience. I also learned some about C++ and C language. Summary of preliminary challenge. I participated in CoSpace U19, which is under 19. I met a problem and collected many objects from that part, this part, which I call the left part. I used position X and Y to close parts of the map for the robot to collect those objects and my idea worked well. The robot started scoring higher points than before. Analysis. The mission was to collect objects without getting out of the map borders and to go to the deposit box easily. Yes, it can be broken. Me, myself, I broke it. I chose places in the map and made it my main points, such as here. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and P6. And yes, when we broke it, it the mission will be completed and will work well. Algorithms and resources. I made the robot move the way I wanted. First to collect objects from a certain area, then go to deposit at the deposit box, and then complete collecting objects and so on. The same loop. I used the time sensor, position sensor, compass, ultrasonic sensor, and of course I used the wheels. The robot made what I wanted and worked well. Implementation. Here's my flowchart. Do I see orange with the two sensors? If yes, go to deposit. If no, do I see orange with one of the sensors? If yes, if I see with the right, turn to left, turn left. If I see with the left, turn right. And that will increase the chance of depositing. Am I inside the trap? If yes, reset the loaded object. If no, um, do I see yellow? With any one of the sensors, if yes, and if I see with both, I turn strongly. If I see with right, I go back with the left wheel. If I see with left, I go back with the right wheel. If no, do I see objects with any of the sensors? If yes, I collect the object. If no, am I at P6? If yes, turn to zero degree. If no, am I at P5? If yes, turn to 180 degree. If no, Am I at P4 and past three minutes? If yes, turn to 170 degree. If no, am I at P3? If yes, turn to 90 degree. If no, am I at P2? If yes, turn to zero degree. If no, am I at P1? If yes, turn to 270 degree. If no, am I at the borders of the map? If yes, turn to avoid falling and freezing. If no, do I see anything with the ultrasonic sensor? If yes, Turn to avoiding, uh, turn to avoid hitting that wall or that object. If no, keep moving forward. Debugging. The score was not expected. Me, I expected more, but the robot did what I what I told him to do. The robot didn't collect much objects in the left area. That was my problem. My solution: I started to close parts of the map and make it smaller to increase the chance of. Collecting objects. Let's understand more. Here, here is the map. What did I do? After one minute, I closed that part. So the robot now can collect more. And if he came to this, uh, he will automatically turn. After three minutes, I closed this part. So when the robot comes here, he will automatically turn. And after five minutes, at the last minute, I closed that part. And that made it easier for the robot to collect objects. When I close this, you can collect from here. When I close this, he can collect from here. And when I close this, he can collect from here. And my idea worked well. Let's go back to our presentation. The conclusion. My my 
program was good, but it wasn't the best that I can do. If I was told to solve the same map again, I would work on collecting super object to gain more points and also would work on collecting more objects from the left part more and more. My learning experience. I learned time management, C language, problem solving, critical thinking, and those all are very important things. I gained the ability of problem solving, which is important to use in many situations. I would like to share my idea with other participants and tell them what, what, what I was planning for and share what I learned with them so they could also do the same thing and we both or we all create a new code that is the best. And thank you.